So it looks like the family members of Latanya Williams that was slayed on June the 10th, 2020, will actually get some justice. Now, the Savannah Police Department identified the suspect in a June 10th deadly shooting that killed a teenager by the name of Latanya Williams, who age was 17 at the time. Savannah Detective served Bacardi Trapio, who is detained at the Chatham County Detention Center for unrelated charges with warrant for murder and connection to the homicide of Latanya Williams. Now, on the evening on June the 10th, officers responded to the report of a shooting on the 900 block of Staley Avenue. Staley Avenue, that's Tatumville, if you don't know. Now, at the scene, officers discovered Williams inside a vehicle damaged from gunfire. She was taken to a hospital with gunshot wounds and later succumbed to her injuries. Now, Savannah Police Department said a second victim, 27-year-old Akeem Williams, was taken to the hospital in a private vehicle before officers arrived. He received minor injuries, police said. Now, originally, the guy was trying to aim and shoot and kill Akeem Williams, the brother of Latanya Williams. But unfortunately, the guy struck and killed the girl, the 17-year-old, and they actually caught the guy. Uh, thank goodness, you know, they caught this guy because this was a real heinous crime and this happened in broad daylight. So justice looks like it's been finally served. And any other updates about this and new charges or anything that revolves around his case, I'll keep y'all updated as well. But also my next piece of news, a Savannah man has pled guilty to a series of violent crimes across South Georgia, the U.S. Department of Justice said Thursday. According to the Department of Justice, 29-year-old Samuel Renato Chisholm, who also went by Chili Willie, or Pooh pled guilty in U.S. District Court to brandishing a firearm during an attempted carjacking in Ware County. Ware County is about two hours away. He also pled guilty to conspiring to use and carry a firearm during a carjacking in Savannah and in an attempted robbery in Waycross, which is, again, two hours away. That's in Ware County. Now, the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Georgia, Bobby Christine, said that the charges carried carry a possible penalty up to life in prison. On July the 25th, 2019, last year, court documents said Chisholm was involved in a carjacking of a woman in Savannah and was involved in an attempted robbery of a customer outside TJ Maxx store in Waycross the following day. Now, the Department of Justice said that a short time later, Chisholm tried to carjack a vehicle in Ware County by brandishing a handgun, and Chisholm was arrested by law enforcement in Ware County and has been remained in Ware County custody.